Hi, and welcome. I'm Raina, a homemaker and lover of all things nature. And this is Jason, an experienced farmer and seasoned landowner. Together, we are Golden Acres. Join us on this journey here as we learn, grow, and stumble along the way. Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Acres. If you don't know me, my name is Raina and Jason is behind the camera. And this is our garden. And today we're gonna give you a garden tour. We had a bit of a late start because of a heavy winter and just not getting the seeds started early enough. And so it's not the garden that we were anticipating, but I'm seeing a lot of green. I haven't been here in, maybe a couple weeks. So this is the, my first time looking through it. My first time seeing so many red tomatoes. So I'm excited. Um, we have two, three, four, five, six, six. Um, what are they? Seven by seven, six by six, six by six boxes here that all have tomatoes in them. The tomatoes did okay. This long bed right here was completely demolished pretty much from animals gophers um deer rabbit we don't really know birds all the squash is gone no squash we do have a couple watermelons that were not i don't know if they were here the last time i was here we'll see if anything happens all of our corn is gone except for one but we're not getting anything off of that the tomatoes did okay and i did take one pumpkin plant and replant it in the box when i saw that everything was getting taken I was like not the pumpkin because I really want to have pumpkin pie from a pumpkin that we grew that's the goal so let's see what we got these are the super sweet 100s I see one red one down there and we have all these other ones that are gonna turn red I, I hope I don't know I don't know how it works when weather starts getting cold do you know they're going to keep ripening for sure. And we're going back into the 90s. Okay. It's cold today. We're expecting thunderstorm maybe. We are full with the super sweet 100s. We have some Romas over here. Do we? Oh, that one has the little rot. But I can harvest it, right? Do you know what causes that? Um, cold temperatures or lack of calcium, I believe. We're going to have to do more reading into that. Yeah. If anybody has any ideas, let us know. Yeah. Do you know why that, why this happens on the bottom? Um, this, this year's, it's kind of like a test year. Um, see how things go, I guess. We're going to learn a lot from, from this year. More Romas looking... Wait, are these Romas? Is that a, I think all of our labels kind of disappeared. I think this whole box was just Romas. Roma. We haven't gotten anything out of here, right? Or we've, I've gotten one. The, um, this is the green zebra. Yeah, green zebra. So it has the stripes and it just turns... I see one down here. It just turns yellow. Oh, yellow and has the stripes, green stripes. Got one of these so far. You ate it. Do you remember eating it? I do. Was it good? It was oh, very good. Got a German Johnson. Look at that. It's split, but we got one. I think all the like a lot of water can split them. Do you know about that? Pretty sure that's what my girl Jess from Roots and Refuge taught me. That, you know, when heavy rains come, it can split the tomatoes. I don't know how you control that. I don't think you do. Um, nothing here. This is, I think these are the celebrities. Celebrity slicers. Nothing yet. Hopefully these these flowers turn into something and it doesn't get too hot for them. Oh, this one, check out this. 
an animal came and dug this up. It was either the dog that was getting out or a bear and came and just shredded this, but it's still going. It's amazing. You are so strong and thank you. I think these might also be the celebrity. Yeah. So we haven't, the celebrity is what I've been most wanting. The big ones that you can just slice and eat, eat by the slice. Hopefully they come. If not, there's always next year. Whoa. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's ready to go for sure. So our cucumbers did not do, I'm not talking to you because you're doing great, but the rest of our cucumbers did not do very well. So they're in the three boxes behind you. Oh, I'm so excited to see the pumpkin over there. Our cucumbers are all in these boxes and they just, they don't like hot weather and it gets pretty hot out here. And they just, they didn't like it. So maybe next year, We'll have the, the tunnel covered and uh, maybe grow the cucumbers in there to help protect them from the heat a bit. But we got one. This is, this looks like it would be an amazing pickle. I wonder if we should just try and pickle it like this. I've never done a whole pickle. I've only done sliced pickles, but wow. That's exciting. Thank you. Let's go see the pumpkin. Dang. Wow. So this is the one that was in the long bed that I transplanted over here to try and save it. I was going to be thrilled if we got one. Oh, there's ants. What do we do about that? Anything? Get off of there. Get out of my pumpkin plant. I don't know if they're bad for it, but it looks like those might be blossoms coming in down there too. Like we could be getting a good amount of pumpkins. Wow! Pumpkin pie. I'm not even a big pumpkin pie person, but I just think it would be really cool to make pumpkin from your own garden. Pumpkin pie from your own garden. And then we have the cannabis. Let's go see that. I don't know much about cannabis plants, honestly, myself. Jason's the farmer of these. But to me, they look good. Are you happy? Uh, they need more nitrogen for sure. They have a lack of nitrogen and they could have been amended. Do you want to show me? Early season. Um, Why do they need nitrogen? What tells you? Uh, the yellowing from the bottom up on the big fan leaves. So. Like when it starts on the bottom and works Correct. its way up? If you notice these dead leaves down here, mm -hmm. they're leaves that the plant is dropping off um, because it's actually consuming itself for fuel. Nitrogen is the fuel of the plant and promotes vegetative growth. Um, as they get deeper into flower, they're going to need less and less nitrogen and it will become more phosphorus and potassium demanding. Um, but they still need it. And you see it's killed these leaves off and it's working its way up. As we get higher up the plant, we got that one almost going. Then we go a little higher. We got that. You mm -hmm. see it paling at the, the tips. Um, and then it looks decent up here, but it's going to work its way up. So what's your sure. plan for that? I can add some blood meal in there, scratch it into the surface, and that'll, it's not going to re-green up um, the leaves that are already dead, but it will re-green up the ones that are paling and turning a little bit yellow. Um, so we'll just scratch some into the surface, water it in, and they'll be good. Is it all boxes you're noticing this? Kind yeah, of, every sort of, box, huh? but each box is a different strain. Um, if you see the one down here at the end, is most, most nitro nitrogen demanding. The reason I know mm. is because it's most the yellow. yellow is up you higher. see the yellow much higher on the plant, meaning it's worked its way up. Um, so I know that this strain wants more nitrogen than the other ones do. Um, and we'll do the same fix for all of them. Blood meal is the fastest acting nitrogen that I've ever seen personally. Um, it does attract animals though, so you have to be careful. Smells really good near these. It does. Smells very um, living, if that makes sense. You can feel like the CO2 they're giving off and smell the turpins. Nice. Are you happy with everything else? Yeah, I'm happy with them. Just lack of nitrogen. Um, like you had said earlier, we got a late star. 
So typically in these boxes, somebody had asked me in a previous video, why do I have these spaced out so far? And like, what are the two by fours for? It's because these boxes were made to grow cannabis and the plants are so big typically in the year that they're reaching the top of the two by fours. And they're growing so far out of these six by six boxes that one plant is coming to here, mid box. So that plant would be growing here. This plant would be growing here. And it's just a massive jungle. And that's one plant per box. Um, we had such a late start in the year and such bad weather that I decided to do four per box. So we only have 12 little guys right here. Typically these three boxes would only be three plants and they'd be much larger. Um, so I'm overall, I'm, I'm decently happy, but with what we're working with, um, in a normal year, no, like we should have much, well, much that better. one, that one plant will give you more flower than these four combined, probably double or triple. And it, because it's about the surface area exposed of the sun. So that one massive plant, if you think it's a sphere or a ball. And so all the flower sites that are exposed to mother sun, um, are massive. Whereas here, it's little balls. And essentially what's in the middle of these boxes isn't getting a ton of light, right? So it's just like from here around on this plant. Um, so, I mean, even these four will have a much smaller yield than one massive spherical plant, for sure. Absolutely, not even close. So that's our garden, our 2023 garden. Um, I know a lot of people in different parts of the country are finishing their summer garden right now and pulling their tomato plants and we're kind of like just getting started with our harvesting um i'm not sure how long it'll last because weather's starting to change but we do have some heat still and um california indian summer isn't that what it's called where we get a later later summer so we'll just keep plucking away at them and hopefully next year we will have better prepared and be growing the seeds ahead of time during the cold winter late winter months and hopefully next summer we'll also have that um hoop house is that what it's called well, we, have a, tunnel? we have a high, high tunnel greenhouse right there and then we have a hoop house in the background that needs to come down Okay, I see. But uh, that greenhouse right there, um, that is, I want to say 12 feet wide, 44 feet long. And uh, we have two really long beds in there that we can pack a lot of vegetables in. We'll have that operational next year. Yeah, so this is not a pure disappointment. We did get one cucumber. Maybe we'll get more, but it's not as thrilling and um abundant as we hoped it would be and can only hope and try to do better next year but thank you guys for watching this video um stick around for more we'll be filming more ciao